Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to easily create a city scene in Blender. Add a plane. Scale up the plane seven times. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Switch the timeline editor to the geometry nodes editor. Click the new button to add a geometry node modifier. Add a distribute points on faces node. All right. What we're going to do is to replace the points with the buildings. Let's create various buildings. Add a cube object. Go to the viewport shading menu and enable the cavity option. Move up the cube one meter on the Z axis. Hit the Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. Select the top face and move the face up. Select the bottom face. Press Shift-S and Cursor to select it. Go back to Object Mode. Right-click and set the origin to the 3D cursor. Press Shift-D to duplicate the cube. Switch to Edit Mode. Hit the A key to select all vertices. Hit the S key, then Shift-Z to scale down only X and Y axes. Select the top face and move up. Duplicate the cube. Select the edge and press Ctrl B to bevel. Duplicate one more time. Select the top face, hit the E key to extrude and S key to scale down. Hit the I key to inset, E key to extrude, and S key to scale down. Add a cylinder. Set the vertex number to 6. Move up the top face and bevel. Don't forget to set the origin to the bottom face. All right. Select all buildings. Hit the M key to create a new collection. Rename the collections as buildings. Select the geometry node system. Drag the collection from the Outliner Editor to the Geometry Node Editor. Add an Instances on Points node. Plug the collection into the Instances node. Enable the Pick Instance, Separate and Reset Children options. Add a Random Value node for the Scale node. Set the minimum to 0.3 and maximum to 0.4. Switch the distribution method to Poisson Disk. Set the minimum distance value to 0.8 to not overlap the buildings. You can also adjust the building density. All right, let's add material. Hit the Z to switch to Render Preview Mode. Click the World Properties tab and add an environment texture for lighting. I will share the download link in the video description. Set the Strength value to 0.8. Add sunlight for extra lighting and shadow. Adjust the sunlight angle to suit the environment texture. Pick the yellowish color for the sun. Set the strength value to 3. Switch the geometry node editor to the shader editor. Select the first building, 
Click the new button to add a new material. Delete the principled shader and add a glossy shader. Pick the base color gray. Set the roughness value to 0.05, so the building becomes reflective glass. For windows, add a brick texture. Plug it into the displacement node. Select the brick texture and press Ctrl T to add mapping and texture coordinate nodes. If it doesn't work, go to the Edit menu, Preferences, and enable the Node Wrangler add-on. Switch the texture coordinate type to the object. Go to the mapping node and set the X rotation value to 90. Set the offset value to 0. Set the Y rotation value to about 37. Set the Z scale value to 0 0.2. That's it. Select the other buildings and assign the same material from the list. All right, switch to solid view. Press Shift S and cursor to world origin. Add a plane. Scale up the plane. Hide the building collection in the viewport. Switch to edit mode. Press Ctrl R to add loop cuts. Select these faces. Hit the E key to extrude. Switch to Render Preview Mode. Go to the Material Properties tab and pick a road color. Select these faces. Go to the Select menu and Checker Deselect. Add a new material slot and assign a white color for these faces. Select these faces. Add a new material slot and assign it to the faces. All right, let's add some trees. Switch to solid view. Hide the city in the viewport. Go to the edit menu, preferences, click the add-on tab and enable the sapling tree gen add-on. This add-on allows us to generate various trees. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about this add-on from the link. Go to Add Menu, Curve, and Sapling Tree Gen. Open up the left bottom panel to reach the settings. You can choose different tree types from the preset menu. Switch to Branch Splitting Settings. Set the base splits to 1. Switch to the Leaves Settings and enable the Show Leaves option. In the same way, add various trees. Scale down and place the trees. You can also duplicate the trees. Let's make other details.
switch to render preview mode and add a material for the leaves and trunk of the trees. All right, it's time to render. Add a camera. Press Control Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to view. Lock the camera to view. Adjust the best camera perspective for you. Unlock the camera again. Go to the Render Properties tab. Set the maximum sample value to 128 for render. Scroll down to the Color Management section. Switch the view transform from filmic to standard. Go to the render menu and render the image. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.